Welcome to my house. Today I'm gonna be talking about some offer up pops that I got and some Walmart pops that I got and some Target pops that I got. It was a pretty good day today. Let's get into it. So I got my handy dandy paper. I basically just jotted down whatever what I got for it, what it's worth, so we could break down exactly how much I made today. So we'll start with the offer up pops today. I got six I got three Yu-Gi-Oh Pops for 80 bucks. These are the six inch pops. I just cannot pass that deal up. The guy needed the money class, so I came in. So the first pop that I got is Exodia, the forbidden one. So, you know, this one's pretty cool. It's got some really dope features on it. You know, I feel like Funko really went in on the six inch pops. They didn't like slack at all. They're really worth every penny, but it's pretty hard to find them at the store. So that's why I had to go on offer it. Um, so Exodia, I got all three of them for 80 bucks. So all together, that's like less than 30 each. So that's a little bit above retail, it's basically retail. Um, Exodia goes for 65. So that was a good cop by himself. He almost made all my money back. Uh, the next one I got is, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Obelisk, o Obelisk, o Obelisk, Oblask. Anyways, this one's pretty cool too. I like the blue. I'm a big fan of baby blue, so I felt like it went pretty hard. I honestly didn't watch Yu-Gi-Oh growing up. This wasn't a big show that I was super into. Now that I'm an adult and I have a lot more time to choose shows and such, um, I've been trying to get back into some animes that I didn't have the time for growing up. So I'm starting to try and get into Yu-Gi-Oh. But this pop's pretty cool. It goes for 55, so that was a pretty good pickup. And then, the last one I got is the Winged Dragon of Raw. So this one's probably my favorite, but it's the cheapest of the bunch. That one's only worth about 45 bucks. Yeah. So all together, let me stack all three on top. So we got Winged Dragon, Exodia, and then Obelisk, Obelisk, Oblask. So I got all these three pops for 80 bucks. According to uh, the Funko app, um, Obelisk is worth 55, Exodia is worth 65, and Wing Dragon is worth at least 45. So all together, all three is worth 165, and I paid 80 bucks. So more than doubled my money by a little bit. So I've made technically 85 bucks if I was to try and liquidate this. Um, being a collector, I'm trying to really just collect and maybe in a couple years if these were to reach, you know, like a hundred dollar price Maybe I'd let them go. But as for now, I think this is a really good deal. These are really cool pops I'm gonna keep them. I'm not gonna sell them anytime soon. So this was really cool. Good deal So we'll go ahead and write down 85 profit because that's pretty much what it was Good stuff Let's go ahead and put these back down so that's it that I got for the offer of pops for today. Now let's go ahead and move into the pops that I got at the store. So the pop, first pop that I got at the store was actually at Target. Um, I don't really watch this show too much. Um, I kind of tried it out, you know, I like it, but I just haven't given it enough time to get that deep into it. I'm still on like season one or two. Uh, my girlfriend's finished it, she loves it. And I'm talking about My Hero Academia. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name. Kuro, Kuro Giri, Kuro Giri, Kuro Giri. That's Kuro Giri. Anyways, um, so I saw him at Target. I thought he looked pretty sick. I know that he's from the show, so you know I had to get him. Twelve dollar retail. Come on, this honestly could be like Dobby in the future. You just you don't know. So twelve bucks couldn't pass it up. Um, he's worth nineteen technically on the Funko app right now. He is still sold in Target, so you know if you go, you can find him. But I only saw two of them left when I got him, so I wasn't gonna just let him sit there. I had to get one, so I got a curl, curl giri, curl gari. Sorry, not good with the names, but anyways, uh, we'll just call it an eight dollar profit. We'll round that off to a twenty bucks instead of nineteen. Not a big fan of the weird numbers like that. So eight bucks for that. The next one that I got was also a Target. I'm talking about the two pack. Thor and Mighty Thor. This was a very cool one. Um, honestly, I was not expecting to see this when I went to Target. I was tripping out. I was like, 
Wow, we got this shit. So I had to get that. Um, very cool pickup. I already have Gore and I have um, Korg. I don't really like Valkyrie that much and I feel like Meek is kind of weird. I don't really like those two characters too much. So I was planning on getting Thor and Mighty Thor already. But then when I saw the two pack, I was like, you know what? Done. I'll just get this. So I went ahead and got it. It retails for $20. So all I paid was $20 with taxes, like 22. Um, according to the Funko app, this is going for $42. Um, but I've seen it go from anywhere from 40 all the way to $70 on eBay. So in reality, the price is, you know, up in the air. Only time will tell. These two packs are a lot rarer than the single ones, so, you know, I've learned my lesson with not getting the two packs and the three packs in the past, so I got a two pack. Good price. Now, the final one that I got was actually um, kind of a last minute pop. I didn't even think I'd ever get this pop because I just have not seen it at Walmart. Um, I go religiously. I have a Walmart right next to my house, and then I have a Target as well, so I go, I go pretty consistent. Um, but anyways, the other night, me and my mom went just to go get some last minute stuff and took a stroll down the Funko aisle. So for the last pickup, I got this bad boy right here, Claire with Flair. I didn't really plan on getting any of the Jurassic World pops at all, but you know, I saw it, so I had to get it. I thought this pop just looks so cool. The T-Rex just looks badass chasing her down and uh, I think this T-Rex is actually about like a six or seven inch pop and then obviously she's a four inch pop But it's just a very cool scene. You know, it's just it's very dope I feel like this could be worth a lot of money in the future, but as for right now, it's not so I got it for $30 profit I got this for $30 retail plus taxes. So about 33 um, I've seen her go from roughly 40 to $50 on eBay So we'll call it about 45 so that's like a $15 profit. So the 15 from this, the $20 from the Thor 2 pack, and then the $8 from the Kuro Giri, Kuro Giri, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, all together, that's $43 profit off of the Target and Walmart pickups. And then $85 profit off of the offer up Yu-Gi-Oh pickups. So all together, you're looking at about 85, okay, plus the 40, that's about 125. 26, about $128. So $128 is what we profited today. That's pretty good. I do not mind that myself. So let me go ahead and show you all the pops together. So we got the Claire with Flair. Yeah, Claire with Flair. We've got the Thor and Mighty Thor 2 pack. Kurogiri. Kurogari. We've got Exode, oh, my bad, Wing Dragon of Raw. We've got Obelisk. And then, to top it off, the Exodia the Forbidden. There we go. All right. So these are all my pickups for today. Looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with today's pickups. Stay tuned for next episode. I'll be bringing you guys into the stores with me. We're going to hit up all types of stores. Um, locally, I got Box Lunch, FYE, or Fi. I don't even know how to pronounce it really. Um, Target, Walmart, Walgreens right there. It's Evelyn right there. I got two of them. Um, I, I don't know if I said Box Lunch, but I got Box Lunch right here at West Covina Mall. Um, you know, I go everywhere. I'm on off -road. I go on off -road hunts. I go meet up with crazy strangers. Um, I literally picked up the whole Scooby-Doo set in Compton. Like... The deal was too good to pass up. I went, I got it, I came back, I survived. But if you guys would like to come with me with my crazy adventures to go find some cool Funko Pops in LA County, well then shoot, shoot a subscribe, stay up to date, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, please help with the algorithm. I'm new to the Funko Pop scene on YouTube. Um, I like to go to car meets, I like to go eat out, I like to do all types of cool stuff. Um, I've been trying to get into like vlogging and stuff like that, but as far as Funko Pop hunting goes, I am super into it. I'm crazy about Funkos. This is my shit. Um, I've been collecting Funkos for roughly about two months now. Um, I kind of went hard in the paint in the beginning of my first two months. I spent maybe roughly about fifteen to $1,600. And my whole collection is worth about $3,700 right now. 
I have a couple pops on the way. So technically it's worth more, but I always like saying what my collection is worth based off of what I have in my current possession. So currently right now, 3,700. This shit's looking pretty good. So if you guys would like to stay up to date, you like to see my pop uh, journey grow, uh, see what I get next, stay tuned. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Stay lovely, stay fresh.